Hi guys. guys, you're welcome back to our channel. My name is Ehi. My name is Happy. And this is the Happy Ehi After Channel. If you're a first time subscriber, thank you for coming by. Mm -hmm. We're just your everyday inter African couple sharing our experiences and hoping that it helps you make better decisions for yourself. Yes, and we will be. What are we doing today? You won't welcome old subscribers. Old subscribers. Yeah, yeah, hey, thank you so much. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the comments. For all that you're doing to spread the word about our channel. So we're really, really, really grateful to you guys. Yes, so thank you. We really appreciate it. But please get us monetized. We're begging. <laughs> it's not as if we're, we're begging. Please. Hmm? Please. <laughs> So actually today we're going to be, we just got our bed and yeah. we're going to assemble it. We have partially um, furnished the house, yeah? Most of the stuff Yeah, have. not partially, like mostly furnished the house. With this bed now, we will say we are 80% complete. I'm still expecting my biggest TV for my <laughs> EPL games and Champions League games. <laughs> I don't have the money yet. Yeah, we're working on that. We're, we're working, working on it. For your birthday, for your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we just got our bed and we're going to assemble it and then we'll show you uh, what we have so far in the house. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And uh, again, most of these furnitures, remember, we got them for free mm -hmm. from amazing, people, kind hearted yes. people around us. Oh. It's been amazing. We got most of these furnitures we'll be showing for absolutely nothing and even the ones we bought we bought from people from for close to nothing okay, really. yes, yes, so yes. we've been able to furnish our house for next to nothing when you think about it canadian people are so generous you know, they are so loving even if you oh, come hey. here with a, a heart of stone <laughs> eh? even if your heart is hardened <laughs> like a you criminal before <laughs> The love is enough to melt you. Uh, you just, you just, you just be weak. You just be ah ah. What? No. But you said something very nice that if you if you plant the seeds, you will sow. Uh, well, I don't know if we planted. Or I don't know if we planted enough. But this one overwhelmed me. Because me, I can't remember when I was this nice to anybody. I can't, I can't remember. Maybe if you if I was nice to you like this, you can tell me. But me, I can't remember. This one, this one overwhelmed me. <laughs> we thank God, we thank uh, God. We just it's thank only God, God. For, for the, uh, with the experience so far. It's been beautiful, it's been amazing. Yeah. We, we've had like the easy life, basically. Mm -hmm. We cannot lie. We've had the easy life and the best moving life. to Canada. Yeah. And the, really the best life. Anyway, let's do it, okay? Yeah, so you watch us and assemble this uh, bed and then uh, we'll talk to you later. Who's going to have some money? Us, who? It's us. It's you. It's us. After a month of sleeping on the floor, now we have a bed. Actually, last week uh, we also got this captain bed and these three bar stools from our community and some um, some stuff for the kitchen. So you can see these bar stools are still in great shape and they're so beautiful. We also got this couch that needed a cover and these chairs and this dining table so anyway we put the bed together in Bao's room and it's good it fits Bao's room perfectly and the kitchen now looks like this here are the bar stools uh, look at that couch it has a cover on it now that's a his workstation that's the dining table. We only have two chairs. So, we have given you guys uh, the length and breadth of how we started this journey to mm -hmm. Canada. What our experiences have been like since we have been in Canada. 
and uh, how we are settling in basically. We hope this information can help as many people out there as possible. So uh, one thing we want to talk about is when you finally get here in Canada, make sure you plug into your community and look for organizations that can help you settle in. Yes, don't limit yourself only to people you know uh, or people you have known before coming to Canada or just the people you meet in your immediate environment. Go out. There are many organizations, many of them government funded that are dedicated to helping you settle down. So make sure you tap into these resources, find out about community centers, find out about such organizations around you and let them know you are here, you have just arrived and you need help. And even if it's not like an organization organization, if you just go on Facebook and just search um, whatever neighborhood you are in and you say community service, there are people who are not attached to an organization, but they want to help people. So many, many families will give stuff to you. I think you've seen our apartment. Almost everything in here was given to us. Even this lovely, hey, you know, hey, show them how, what it does. this lovely, wonderful, uh, uh, <laughs> wonderful chair, as that you can see, was also given to us by for free by a lovely family. family. And another thing I want to say is, don't come here and be forming. I know, I already know. Uh, Let people know you are new. Let people know you just arrived, because people here understand how difficult it is for newcomers to settle down. So. Talk to people about the fact that you just arrived and you need help. Uh, my people say it is the child that cries that will get more, uh, more milk. Mm. If you keep your mouth shut, no, everybody will just assume you are fine, you don't need any help, and that's it. Can you say that saying in Yoruba? I'm a toba key, no maroon jeje. So if you, if you <laughs> don't talk about uh, uh, the fact that you need help. If you don't let people know that you are new, uh -huh. and you don't let people know exactly the kind of help you need, you might just miss out on some amazing uh, uh, things that, or some amazing help you and, can get. And another thing is that, of course you save money, of course you want to have an Instagram or the apartment because you're in Canada. That will come in good time. You need to get used to how your expenses are, get used to the lifestyle. And for me personally, I believe that after spending three months of creating a trend of our expenses, our shopping, then we'll be feel comfortable to say, you know what, we need this much to help. That yes, idea. So, exactly. Yeah. So don't just come here and, and start uh, running through your savings. Let me tell you something. <laughs> there are things that will take your money. The Canada has a system to suck your money. You don't even need to yeah. give them a reason. So don't rush. You will still spend that money. Yeah? So don't uh, don't let your eyes be opening. You want to spend money quickly. You want new sofas. You want new TV. These are things that can wait until you have settled down completely. Yes. And then you can begin to, you know, Enjoy yourselves. Cause my Baba no be. If your father is down with you, you won't be coming here in the first place. <laughs> so nobody's father is down with you here. If your father is down with you, you won't be, you won't be immigrating to Canada. That is all I can say. So calm down. Eh? Calm down. Yeah? Okay? And uh, another thing I would say is, uh, I think later I will talk about my experience in uh, actually applying for jobs in Canada. I was lucky enough to receive an offer before I arrived and uh, I started applying immediately we were confirmed for permanent residence. So I will also talk about some of the strategies I used, some of the things that helped me so that you can also maybe, you know, apply these things when that time Comes and you too will be lucky enough to secure something before you arrive. And, and we, we told our people that we'll do a video about uh, another part about our PR story, like the one full full just step by step. Step by but step. waiting for you. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll also uh, make that video about the step. But I think we covered most of it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, express entry information is abundant online. It's something you can do by yourself. Yeah, but we'll make a video. We'll make a video just to talk about it from our own perspective, and then what happened first, what happened next, and everything, and then uh, hopefully that helps you. So this is us in Canada. We are having a good time. Beautiful neighborhood, beautiful country, amazing people, uh -huh. you know, kind people who are always open to helping each other. And we have had a, a great experience so, so far. far. Yes, we have. And uh, we look forward to you also having that great experience if you decide that this is what you want for yourself, of course. So please like and subscribe and share and these share. tips we are giving. I think they are really helpful tips. They you are. Know? We are opening up ourselves. We are our not pouring filter. out. There's no you. filter. Please. <laughs> ah, monetize us. Stop being like this. Stop. Monetize us. Like the baby cries. Tell your family, <laughs> tell your uncles, tell your brothers. Subscribe. It doesn't take you much. Subscribe. <laughs> watch. Be educated. Be entertained. I don't know what else you are looking for. <laughs> eh? Please. I beg you. Please. Thank you guys. Please continue watching and subscribing. Take care, take, take care, care, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.